Hello, hockey fans, and this is my first look at the standings. I was actually three weeks in, but uh, there wasn't enough games played. It wasn't worth doing it before. So, in first place, the Penguins with a record of 7-1-0. They're powerful as usual. Let's hope they keep it going. Looks like Marc-Andre Fleury has found his game once again. In second place, Detroit, who is now in the Eastern Conference and is taking full advantage of it with a record of 6-3. and three. The Leafs off to a great start, although they've lost the last couple of games. They're uh, with a record of 6-3. and three. Carolina is doing well as well with a 4-2-3 and three record. Then the Bruins with a 5 win, 2 losses. Montreal Canadiens, they're going to be up and down all year. 5 wins, 3 losses. Tampa Bay Lightning doing well. Uh, five and three and the surprising senators I say that because I didn't think they'd be in eighth place with a three three and two record and then the uh, the rest of the teams the New York Islanders three three and two I'm hoping they're going to get better this year Columbus uh, three five and oh playing in the Eastern Conference as well the Washington Capitals so the three wins five losses uh, they won their last game but I've seen three of their games and they're in big trouble Ovechkin is doing the same thing he was doing before he does a lot of uh, cruising a lot of watching whenever the puck is in his end uh, and it's not inspiring the rest of the team to play all that hard defensively they, once they get into the offensive zone they're fine but uh, that's not helping them win games the Florida Panthers, surprisingly, in 12th, uh, they're still not much better than they were last year. New Jersey is struggling mightily. Uh, Martin Brodeur, if this isn't his last year, I, I, you know, I feel bad. I mean, the guy has been an amazing goaltender. He's just not there this year. One win, four losses, and three in overtime. It's just not a good record. The Rangers, new coach, uh, hasn't helped them. Two wins, five losses. And the Buffalo Sabres, they're in a rebuilding mode for sure. They're going to be selling off some of their big names. One win, eighth losses, and one overtime loss. And the Philadelphia Flyers, new coach there again. Uh, La Violette being fired at the beginning of the year didn't help. Uh, one win, seven losses. They've lost four in a row. So let's hope they can find their way back as well. So that's it for the Eastern Conference. And now for the Western Conference, San Jose, who is absolutely amazing this year. They've made the right changes. They're a much faster team. Looks like Thornton really uh, is re-inspired. And, and uh, Logan Couture continues his amazing play. Colorado is the most fun team after San Jose. Well, I'll put them 1A and 1B. San Jose and Colorado are a lot of fun to watch. Uh, Colorado is just amazing. A young group, hardworking, extremely talented, hard-hitting. Then there's the Anaheim Ducks. Uh, I've seen them a few times. It wasn't a good game against Ottawa. Chicago, uh, again, they, they won the Cup last year. People have to keep in mind here that it was a short season last year. It wasn't a long, hard-working drag, although this year is going to be a bugger with the Olympics. But uh, if not too many other players go which is lot likely to happen, but if they manage to keep some, if they stay healthy, they're still going to be a threat in the playoffs. The Phoenix Coyotes, I don't want to talk about them. Los Angeles Kings, uh, just as good as before, 6-3-0. and St. Louis Blues, up and coming, hard working, hard hitting team. They've been in suspension trouble lately. Uh, Nashville Predators, uh, they're in there. Vancouver should be better than what they are, but they're adapting to a new coach. Uh, as as our New York, oh look, they flip coaches. So yeah, that's going to be interesting to watch. Minnesota Wild, up and coming. Calgary Flames, they've been in there every game. They're, I don't, they they shouldn't be out of the playoffs. Uh, they might just make it. Winnipeg Jets, they're struggling. They're four, five, and zero. Oh, they're not doing well. Hopefully, they'll do better. Dallas Stars still rebuilding. And Edmonton Oilers, I don't even know what to say about these guys. They sh this is like the fourth year now. Ottawa's done better and faster than they have, and they've had number one draft picks for the last five years, although they keep picking uh, forwards. You need defense. They don't have any of that. Uh, obviously, they didn't take Ottawa's model very seriously. Ottawa had a balanced attack. Anyway, that's it for the Western standings. Until next time.